What's up? It's your boy Donovan. I hope everyone had a very safe and happy new year and brought 2022 in right. Today, I'm going to be drawing with Posca paint markers and filling in some landscapes that I had already drawn off camera and just talking about my year 2021, reviewing some of the things that I accomplished and some of the things that I want to do in the year 2022. So without further ado, let's get into it. Last year, in order to bring in the new year, I did a review of everything I made in 2020. However, I'm taking it easy on myself this year. And if I can be honest, I didn't make much in 2021, but that's because I had a lot of life stuff that I was getting done. And I'm going to go over some of that stuff today. I'm going to tell you guys about my top three accomplishments for 2021, as well as my three main goals for 2022. Now in 2021, a lot of major life stuff happened for me. The biggest being I quit my doggone job. Oh my goodness. I was just a month shy of doing that job for about five years. I was working in medical and it was not something that I was interested in. And it was not something that I could see myself doing for the long term. So I had to get out of there and I was finally able to do it last year. Another thing that I'm extremely proud of myself for accomplishing is getting my own place. And I mean my own place. Nobody else is on the lease, just me. You know, I'm not sleeping on nobody's couch and ain't nobody sleeping on mine. It's the first time that I've been able to do that. And I feel like a grown up, like for real this time. <laughs> The last thing that I'm super proud of myself for doing is getting straight A's in my fall semester. I've never done that since going back to college. I have never gotten straight A's. So I'm going to try to keep that up in the new year. I also have three main goals for 2022. The first being to get back in touch with myself and my inner child. I've already been working on that, but I just want to keep it up in 2022. And I want to just extend that to other parts of my life than where I am right now. For instance, even down to the way that I have been dressing and you know, styling myself and looking each day has been a result of me trying to get back to what I thought high school me would want to be up to right now. You know, when people ask, like, hypothetically, if you could speak to your younger self, what would you say or, or what would your younger self think about you? I really got to thinking about that seriously. And I, I'm just in a space of trying to recapture what my younger self would have wanted for me right now because I for a while had to get off of that track in order to be a be an adult and to make real real things happen for myself through hard work and not necessarily in a way that was um, glamorous or in a way that was expected. A second major goal for 2022 is to very intentionally build up my body of work and all the art in my portfolio i'm a like i said i'm a grown-up now you know um of course i could just do my funny little doodles for the rest of my life and be perfectly happy and nobody could say otherwise because it's my life but i do want more for myself creatively i don't put pressure on myself to make money off my art but i do want to make a career out of my art that may not necessarily equate to riches and i'm okay with that however i do just want to establish a very concrete direction for for who i want to be and where i want to go creatively my last major goal for 2022 another thing that i've already been working on already been saving towards is moving now I know I just was super excited about me having my own place for the first time, but 
This is not my final destination. While I am very proud and excited to have, to be where I am right now and very grateful to have what I have, I do know that I want to be elsewhere and do more. You know, this is just a pit stop. So I'm already saving towards the next big move that I'm going to make. Down below, let me know which one of these landscapes is your favorite. I spent so much time talking that the ending came up so fast. <laughs> Don't forget to like it if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.